from far and wide. And now, put your hands together for Disney Holidays in Philly. co-hosting this magical musical show for all of you tonight. Bonjour! Yes, tis moi! <laughs> the greatest gift of all this holiday season. It must be such an honor for all of you to have moi here tonight. Uh, uh, Piggy, uh, I said the honor was ours. Huh? Oh, <laughs> right. I suppose it is an honor for you and the rest of the cast, too. Well, look at me! I'm just honored everyone here with my presence tonight. But I guess that's the spirit of the holidays, isn't it? Uh, sure, uh, let's go with that. Uh, but when I think about what the holidays mean to me, it's sharing the magic of the season with the ones we love most. Aww, and that's why you're here with moi tonight, isn't it, Kami? <laughs> well, uh, you see, uh, <clears throat> we're here because, uh, because we were both invited. Uh, yes, and because there's no better place to spend the holiday season than Walt Disney World! <laughs> sure, dear. Well, when I think about what Christmas means to me, I think about presents! Really? Just presents? Uh, there's so much more to the holiday season than gifts. Isn't 
wasn't there. Well, sure. But come on! We're literally standing in a pile of presents! Clothes, shoes, and toys for all the little piggies and froggies out there who dream of being just like you and Wall. out on the best parts of the holidays. Sure, this is the season of giving. Ah, the season of giving me gifts. Pretty sure that's receiving. But what I'm trying to say is that some gifts don't come in boxes and pretty paper. That's a great point, Curtis. And maybe all those children out there are looking for the kind of gifts that live inside here. Yeah, like Kermit's warm heart and generosity. Or your... your bold sense of Self-confidence, Miss Piggy. Oh, thank you so much for noticing. Wait, who are you again? Uh, these are just a couple of friends who've come to help us put on a great show this evening. Come on, everybody. Everyone. Whoa, whoa, hold it, Bob. Where do you think you're taking us? Oh, <laughs> well, we have to make sure we get these presents home in time for Christmas. Yeah, that makes sense, but uh, we're kind of in the middle of a production here. Uh, I don't make the rules. I'm just the talent. Wait, you are the talent? Yes, Piggy. <laughs> this is... Kiana. And... Bobby. And there are fellow co-hosts for this evening. Our fellow what? How many hosts does this show me? How big is your trailer? Your student come with a jacuzzi did it because I explicitly asked for one and I did not get one. We'll be back, folks. Uh, probably. Okay, come on, Piggy. We better start digging our way out of here. You did? Oh, fuck! <laughs> and we are out. We're at commercial, folks. This program is brought to you by Goofy's Candy Company, your one-stop shop for stocking stuffers this holiday season. Have you ever had one of those days where you... Good just... evening, everyone. We are so glad you decided to join our live studio audience for this holiday TV special. Yes, we are. We just heard Kermit the Frog and Miss Piggy talk about what the holidays mean to them. And you know, I think Miss Piggy was on to something about presents. So, in the spirit of giving, I would like to give you all the gift of stand-up comedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. We don't have that kind of time. It's not that long of a commercial. We're back in four, five, two, three, two. three two. Okay. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. You know, when I was growing up, my family moved around a lot. So we spent Christmas at different places all over the country. Every year it was somewhere new. New York, Chicago, New Orleans. New Orleans? My grandma, she grew up in New Orleans. She used to tell all sorts of amazing stories about Christmas time down there. The bonfires, the smell of Creole food wafting out of every restaurant. She said, on Christmas Eve, the best Réveillon dinner in all of New Orleans was at Tiana's Palace. Oh, she's so right. That place has the best beignets, mm. and it's such a party at Christmas time. Oh, I could just imagine. <sighs> oh, hi, y'all. Welcome to Tiana's Palace. Now, the place looks a little different than usual, but that's because we're all dressed up for the holidays. And it's just around the corner. Oh, I'm so excited, it's my favorite time of year. And if you don't mind, I would love to tell you a little bit about what it means to me. 
pick just one thing though. My very favorite part of the holiday season is making everyone's favorite treats. Naveen, Mama, Lot, and Lewis, and Santa, of course. There's nothing like the smell of warm cookies filling the air. I always like to make this little frosty sugar ones my daddy used to love. So spicy ginger snacks and those special pecan fragrance you can always get down in New Orleans. You know, when I was just a little girl, my daddy taught me each and every one of those recipes. We spent all day baking together, and then he let me wait up for Santa. I always fell asleep before he got there, of course. But you know, every year, I got just what I needed. <laughs> Stage. Well, that just won't do. I didn't have any time to accessorize between numbers, and I refuse to be upstaged. I could never upstage you, Piggy. Listen, how about I make it up to you by getting you a churro and a spirit jersey after the show? Uh, throw in a giant pretzel and you got a deal. Done. Yeah, I'm talking. Aren't they just the best? And now, as a special treat to all of you in our live studio audience, please give a warm welcome for our house band, the Jolly Eight! <laughs>
to look at that. It's snowing out there. Oh, it's snowing. How wonderful. Gosh, I love the snow. It just makes you want to run outside and look for a Christmas tree. Say, I know. I'll go out right now and get the best tree I can find and take it over to surprise me. I know she doesn't have one yet and, well, she loves to decorate for Christmas. <laughs> I can't wait to see the look on her face. Oh, this weather just makes you want to cozy up inside and start decorating for the holidays. Hmm, I know. I bet I can put up all these decorations before Mickey gets here and surprise him with a whole house full of Christmas cheer. Oh, he's going to love it. <laughs> Time to find ourselves a Christmas tree. special with all of you is a gift I will always cherish. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I know what you mean. We're making memories, memories that we'll never forget. And we're back in four, three, two. This time of year, the greatest gift we can give is something you won't find on a shelf. It's something we find in each other. Let's be honest, the world we live in can be a little more than chilly. But the belief that better days are coming, that's what counts. Because the greatest gift of all is hope.
and warmth. We have friends, family, our traditions, Ooh, singing our favorite songs. Let's do it! Woo!